And hey, Oscar, this one's for you. Hey everyone, thanks again for tuning in to Cash the Line. I'm here just to give you a quick little update, but first of all, I gotta get this cash. And it's a little swamp. It's been raining a bit. So first off, some awesome news. I just got in the first batch of path tags. The first official uh, custom designed logo for Cash the Line. I like them. This is from the starter kit. So there's only 50 of these made with this specific color scheme, which means this is limited and exclusive and only for special occasions. Secondly, some other really cool networking news. So we have the geocaching network on YouTube. That's a whole bunch of vloggers who are sharing their geocaching adventures in video form on uh, YouTube. But there is also the Geocache Talk Network. That's the weekly podcast that they record on Sunday nights at 9 Eastern, uh, 8 Mountain, 7 Central, 6 Pacific, you know, all those different time zones. But the big news is I am now an official affiliate of the Geocache Talk Network. That means that occasionally you won't see this much, but you might see this. <laughs> I want to try to wear it around a little. How do I look? <laughs> And on that note, I hope that you'll tune in to Geocache Talk when the subject is going to be challenge caches. I'm going to be guesting with Gary and Jesse, and we're going to be talking about what they are, why some people love them, why some people hate them, how to do them, how they came to be. And Jesse, or Memphis Mafia, also has a new book coming out all about challenge caching, and we're going to be talking about that too. So I hope you'll tune into that. I will also be announcing the winners of three different prize draws uh, that were being held on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook for prizes including cash align buttons, um, a geocache talk path tag, the old one, a geocache talk path tag, the new one, and one of the brand new cash the line path tags that I just showed you. And each of those packages is also going to have one of these brand new geocache talk zipper pull. These little things are trackable, so you just like attach them onto your zipper and you know it's a zipper pull <laughs> i'll add the link to the podcast video that was recorded live up in the corner so go check that out when you have a chance challenge caches love them or hate them well this cache that i just logged right behind me sitting right in a <laughs> little nook in there is uh, a double fizzy grid for the mystery cache type that means two of every difficulty and train combination of unknown cache types that's not easy it's a five difficulty and two terrain probably more like a two and a half with all of the uh, marshy wetness that i'm kind of standing on right now but uh that dt combo is also uh going towards my fizzy grid for ontario the province of ontario so find only finding caches in ontario that fill uh it, all of the 81 difficulty terrain combinations it seems like a lot to think about but you know challenge caching is just it's it's so fun because it adds a new layer to geocaching as a hobby. It gives you new goals and new targets. It'll help you to focus and try to find caches you probably wouldn't have otherwise. And so it kind of opens up the playing board even more of that geocaching map with all those icons. Now you can like pick and choose specific ones. And um, you know, it's not for everybody. It's for some people, not for everybody. Anyway, I'm already talking about challenge caches. Tune in or watch that podcast video because it's going to be awesome. On top of that, in a couple of weeks, I'm going to be taking a huge, long road trip, almost two weeks, from Ontario all the way down to, i got to do this in reverse, <laughs> all the way down to Texas, to Fort Worth, for the Geo Woodstock uh, annual mega event, and it's going to be huge. This is going to be a cash tour series I'm going to put together for the, uh, for the huge road trip from Ontario down to Texas and back for a whole bunch of high value, interesting, fun webcams, virtuals, old caches, gadget caches, whatever I kind of decide to hit up on the way down. This is going to be a road trip extraordinaire. Going to be sleeping in the car for four days, Airbnb, and then another four days coming back. Might take longer, might take shorter, who knows? It's fun when you throw all caution to the wind. That's adventure. So watch for me down at Geo Woodstock if you're going to be there. Add a little comment below saying if you're going to be there and maybe we'll meet up 
at Geo Woodstock. Watch for the Geo Vlogger Blogger Podcast panel because after that panel is done, we've got a Geocaching Network meet and greet event uh, so that we can all gather together and say hi and meet each other and trade stuff, giveaway stuff, all that stuff. So if you recall at the beginning of this video, what I did just back there after I found the cache, that's the park and dab, the park and dab. I love that. I saw that Oscar loved doing that whenever he found a cache in some of his videos on his channel. It was a quick park and dab, a quick park and dab. I'll add the link to his channel there and you gotta check it out, it's, it's awesome. I love the park and dab, gotta do that more often. So here's a challenge for you. Go out, do a park and dab, take a photo, take a video, share it. And one other awesome little bonus to this huge mega Geo Woodstock trip. The weekend that I head out, that's gonna be my 10 year geocaching anniversary. My 10 year geoversary. <laughs> and so I have huge plans for that. Watch for that video coming up because I'm gonna visit the, uh, the, the location of the first cache that I found. No, I'm not gonna say anything. I don't wanna say anything yet. Don't wanna spoil it. But watch for that because it's gonna be so cool. I, I done a lot of studying and it's pretty awesome. So that's gonna be an adventure in itself. You won't wanna miss that, so make sure you subscribe below, hit the button in the corner, and don't forget to hit that bell as well because that bell will let you know when there's a new video in case you miss it from the subscription feed. Make sure that you tune into Geocache Talk for the live podcast feed on YouTube. So that's all I've got for now. Um, this was a quick little cache, park and dab, <laughs> and uh, I, I gotta dry out my feet now. So it's been a busy month of May. The Cash Carnival souvenir promotion just ended and I went out to complete a 10 video mini series searching for highly favorited geocaches. I'm gonna drop the link to the playlist below so go check that out if you haven't watched those yet. And with that, I'm gonna draw this to a close. So as always, happy caching and excellent adventuring.